Dane Calloway in the copper ops. Y'all dead. Drop power. Beep, beep, king. Get free or die. Heavy is the head to wear the crown. All right, family, I need you to like this video. Subscribe to this channel, King Ja Power. Go over there to the throne of King Ja Power and subscribe there. Also, don't forget to hit them notification bells. All right. So they still trying to sneak over here, even though they Casper laying in a casket, a dead uh, fake fantasy, a dream that they ain't had. So his dream is dead, okay? So quit coming over here to my page, okay? Trying to, you know, sneak me back in to debate with y'all. That's over with. It's over with. Just accept it. I'll, I'll be seeing y'all putting out videos. Now y'all black. Can, can, uh, Aborigines and African Americans, you know, come together. I done seen y'all putting up them videos. See? It's over. Okay, that show you y'all philosophy loss. Okay, a lie can never stand against truth. That just facts. See what I'm saying? I just want to put that out there. He did. He did. He somewhere trying to conjure up some more lies. See what I'm saying? Trying to figure a way he can wiggle his way out of this trap we got him in. See, that's all he doing. And he can come back out here, but it's going to be for nothing because y'all know better now. See what I'm saying? So many holes that been cracked and you know what he talking about. And he y'all master teacher, don't try to lie. He the only one that done ever he ain't no master teacher. But you know, considering the fact y'all say everything this man say. See, you just regurgitating. See? And he ain't doing nothing but stealing. He go in other people's books, patch about three, four different pages together, okay? He didn't already been busted on that. The author, I forgot what book it was. Uh, Brother Jabari now put it up on Sinetta one day. I know y'all synced. But he was already caught plagiarizing. And the author was like, I should get him. And the author should have got him if he know how much money this man probably making off this, because they letting this, you know, letting it run. If he put, some one of them put out a video, the copper ops, if they put out a video, YouTube will let it fly all the way out there. See what I'm saying? And then, you know, if somebody, if Black Power put out a video, they only let it go but so far. And I can see it, because they be changing the viewership on the videos or whatever. Might have 200 one day, come back and got 37. You like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? So I know this, I know this is a you know a trick. You see what I'm saying? This is a, a, a propaganda machine. YouTube is a propaganda machine. Just keep it real. See what I'm saying? He'll let when them algorithms, he'll let, you know, certain videos go to certain communities. That just facts. So it ain't like somebody somewhere in, in Beverly Hills. Though it might be sitting up here listening to King Ja Power. Why? Because he going to divert that and send that to y'all. That's why when we beef with each other on the internet, okay, and we do videos that it sound like, you know, you know, we got some fire, some smoke for one another, then he'll let them videos go out there. But if you make a video with a positive tone to it, okay, just like the radio, go up there to the radio station with your song, and it's a positive message for black people in it. I bet you they don't play it. But once. So, or they might not even play it at all. See what I'm saying? And But they'll let all that killer music that's killing the streets literally. See? They'll let that jump out there. So it's the same thing. So that's what they've been doing. They've been letting this man push all this fake propaganda out there to stop us from uniting. See? That's what they was doing to keep us separate. You know, a lot of all them groups, you know, one group think this way. One group think this way. One group think this way. These goofy niggas wear these hats. These goofy niggas wear these little shrouds or whatever. You see what I'm saying? These goofies red, white, and blue. These 
other goofies as feathers. See what I'm saying? That's all conquer and divide. That's all that that is because all of y'all got that from the beast. Period. Period. That is an article that came out, I think, in 2016 or 2017. I seen it too. The RT something, the Russian channel, the Russian news channel, RZN or RNT or something like that. But it was a Russian news channel that said, said they did a little quick little segment on their news and then they sent out a, you know, a flyer that said black people in America is uh is not African. They really Indians and they owe millions. They ain't took that and ran with it. I'm giving you the origins of the goofy. The next morning I wake up, he done made uh, uh, a video with that same clip in it. And ever since then, y'all been running with that one article. And it was during the time that the country, which I'm going to talk about in the next video. So make sure you like this video. See what I'm saying? But I'm a, it was a time in the country, in America, where, you know, uh, uh, this before George Floyd and them or whatnot. But I don't know, this uh, right after Mike Brown them, you see what I'm saying, uh, Sandra Bland, all of that was going on. You see what I'm saying? And all this was marching in the streets. Before this article came out, people were saying black power. They was out there flying the Garvey flag. See what I'm saying? Was flying the Garvey flag. And then he came out with this goofy right here. Talk about we uh, Native Americans or whatever. Even though we know the Native Americans stay in the middle of the United States. What? Two or three that's left. Okay? And I'm not banging on them per se, but the truth is the Native Americans are dead. So y'all trying to uh, co-op and thief somebody else's identity. And then present it to the world as if it's your own. And then you notice they show all them pictures of them black and white, uh, them black and white pictures of them Dravidians, okay? Like we don't know, you know, the difference between an African and an uh, Asian. See, whether they black or not, we know the difference, okay? And them people just ain't y'all. See what them, them people just ain't y'all. The Native Americans today is uh got a heavy European mixture. Okay? That just facts. When you go up there to them little reservations or whatever, the little council or whatever, they be white people, man. They got some little Indian or whatever in them, but they got some white in them too. That just for real. But they not the Dravidians, you see. They not the Dravidians, but we can tell that, that they still hold the culture of the Native American, the language, uh, you know, the food. And black people over here, you ask them, what's the Native American language or whatever? They don't even know the name. They don't know no words. They don't know none of the food. They don't live nowhere where the Native Americans be. Don't none of y'all live in the Cherokee Mountains? I'm Cherokee, but you not in the Cherokee Mountains. Where, where, where y'all, uh, family house? Where, y'all got a piece of the casino? No. Okay, no. You, you don't. Okay, so quit with the goofy. All them lies y'all done try to put together and put on the black community. You know, with historical facts. Because this facts over fantasy. I don't play that. Facts over fantasy. We deal with facts. We don't deal with theories and if and maybe folk life on the line out here so we got to deal with that if 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 you know we ain't got time we can't turn around ain't no turning around niggas want to turn around and, and transform some way into the magical indians we ain't doing it man we, we done deal we done put a uh 400 years in the black power and all of a sudden y'all gonna try to turn around y'all better be glad i was here see y'all better be glad i was the blockade keeping y'all you know, from, you know, turning around. See, instead of moving forward on our track to freedom. See what I'm saying? Y'all came, that's that fork in the road. 
that I be talking about. Y'all came to the fork, fork in the road and seen, because y'all ain't know where we was going first. We were just in the bushes. And then we came to the fork in the road, and when we lit the torch, one of the uh, signs said, uh, freedom, the motherland, Africa. And then the other one over here said, uh, back to the plantation. Y'all start going toward the plantation. Now, man, we Indians, man. We Indians, man. We Indians, man. The slave trade wasn't real. Got to see what y'all done. All of this, all them little groups was created. FBA, the indigenous, the aborigines, and uh, fake Moors of America or whatever. All them groups was created just to try to try to keep black people from going back to Africa. That's all that that was. See what I'm saying? And I'm calling it out to you so you can realize and you see it. Like, okay, let me see what King talking about. And then you realize that everything that they talk about is anti-African. Anti, it's just like what they they doing the same thing with uh the news propaganda did to our people. See, they 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 just repeating the same thing. See what I'm saying? And then trying to put some history with it that ain't even yours. See what I'm saying? <laughs> trying to give you some Native American history. See. And try to make like you the Mayans or something. Man, get out of here, man. Get out of here. The Mayans are Asians, okay? They Asians, okay? Because in the Mayan Codex, you see the Africans on it. Period. With nappy hair, beards, and everything. Indians, the Mayans, none of them wore no beards. Period. So that killed that. Africans was over here before the Dravidians was over here before the Native Americans. But we just give them the squatter rights to it. Because we got Africa. We ain't got time to think about that little skinny little continent over here. And they still, in, to keep these countries going in the West, they got to go steal from other countries. So if, if, if which I'll talk about in the next video, but they got to go steal for other countries. I had to pause myself because I got to remember what video I'm on. <laughs> but they got to go steal from other countries. But. How do they do that? War. War. If, uh, if, if, if Africa cut off America, they'll start trying to, first they'll try to sanction, which wouldn't make no difference because we don't need to trade with nobody. We can keep everything in Africa and eat it ourselves. Okay? We walk around with all them diamonds and gold on our teeth and everywhere. Okay? All on our own. If we got Africa, we don't need nothing. We don't need, they can have the rest of the world. As long as we got Africa, we control the world. Period. Period. You can take all them little lands all over the Japan, Russia, America, South America, Australia, all of Europe, and stick it in Africa. And, and, and we go looking for Africa so big you still can't find it. You in the rest of the world now. We looking for where, 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 where America and shit. That shit be in a little corner over there and shit. The Congo will swallow up the whole America. So don't come to me with no goofy. Dane Calloway dead, okay? His funeral is the day at 12 o'clock, okay? You see the sun shine a little brighter, okay? Okay, not always doom and gloom. See, when you when you in a fog of lies and you've been living it, y'all been living a lie for about four, five years. Facts over fantasy. Facts over fantasy. Y'all been living a lie for about four, five years. So you need some... Uh, mental black power conditioning, okay? This put something on your brain, okay? It's because we can't trust y'all. Y'all, we're not going to let y'all come over here till y'all been talking smoke, in, in, which wasn't, it ain't hurt nothing because we kept moving. We still pushing towards Africa. We, we doing what we supposed to do. But we can't trust y'all. So all the comrades, all the RBGs out there, Watch these goofies, because they're going to try to... This how you know they some lames. When you go look on their profile, they got uh, a comedic name or West African name, right? But then you go click the video, they're on there giving all the praise to the Indians. But you got a comedic name. Okay, how can you have a comedic name, but you out here talking about the Indians' history and you were Indian? Indians ain't have comedic names. 
the real, no nah, man, but the, but the real Egypt is in America, man. If you don't get away from me with that goof. See, all of that is dead, okay? He got to come out here with some new lies, and then we'll get them from y'all. Y'all y'all to come out here saying the same thing. I know, let me see what really happened was. What really happened was. <laughs> no, what it really is, he dead. And anybody that believed in him, you dead too, but he can't come back. He can't come back, okay? And y'all came, but y'all going to have to get go study. Y'all got to go get y'all some black power again. And maybe, you know, the ancestors will raise you back from the dead, okay? Maybe the ancestors, because y'all done said too much. You see what I'm saying? Y'all going to have to answer in the afterlife to the ancestors. Y'all's out here wasting time, okay? And then y'all out here disrespecting the ancestor too by name. By name. How you think they going to feel about that when you get to the afterlife? Okay? So you got a lot of work to do. You got a lot of... Uh, uh, you got a lot of community service to do, okay? You got a lot of community service to do because you owe the community now. You got the juice now. You owe the community, okay? You owe the community. Get your ass in them books. Get on this internet and teach the people. No lies, no fakeness or nothing. Don't matter how many views or none of that. Don't none of that matter when it comes to the truth. The truth, gonna, cause why? The truth going to always stand. All right, the truth gonna stand no matter what. Just like the pyramids in the Nile Valley, they gonna be there forever. Okay, to where people thousands and thousands of years after we gone will be able to see it. That's just what the truth is. All right, family, we know Dane Calloway and the copper ops is dead. You see, I just wanted to put an exclamation point on it and just put that video out there so we can document it. They dead. They dead. And the Indians been dead for over 200 years. So you ain't them either. Jop out. Big, big king. Get free or die. Heavy is the head to wear the crown.